All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are from, welcome. How are you this fine day, evening, morning, whatever? Welcome to a little look at Lubuntu 1910. Sorry, I'm a little late. Uh, my son uh, kind of took his time getting ready for karate. And then I was installing Lubuntu when I came home today. I will stay right off the bat that, you know, I know a lot of work goes into it. And a lot of fans like Lubuntu. I am not a big fan. I know I wasn't a fan of it when it was LX. DE, now it's Alex QT. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it starts out um, when I finally got installed. Okay, the Calamari's issue again. Yes, I had to add the boot, boot flag. Excuse me. And, um, but it installed really quick. I think it installed in, oh, about five minutes. It was less than 10 minutes than that because I know there's a, not a lot to it. Once I got the boot flag set and got into it live, uh, ran HTOP and it was at about oh, 385 megabytes of memory. So we all know that it's efficient on memory. Uh, right off the bat though, it was a, 315 updates and that did take a while. Uh, they are, are now using parts of KDE with it and they have uh discover and um discover seems to kind of like drag a little bit on the updates there was 315 updates but it was about 400 and something megabytes um it actually took a uh, longer to update than it did to install got past that threw obs on here got my ndi plugins going good ready to go to show you guys a little bit about uh, Lubuntu 1910. Um, if you notice, if you're looking at the stream, um, I've been playing around with OBS. I found me a um, Linux browser plugin to where now I can, instead of doing a window capture, I can do a web capture. And then I, I learned how to do C or I copied a CSS code to give the um, chat the look that it has right now. So I'm kind of up in my game a little bit on OBS. Uh, let's see. Let me fix the title there. There we go. Um, let's see, I'm going to bring up. And what's cool about this is I can bring up interact and I can see the chat in another window. So, uh, so hello, Ali, Mr. Present Arms. I know Mitchell's in here. Um, Frostbite, how are you doing, sir? Haven't seen you in a while here. As you can see, I got the NDI plugin going and uh, they have screensavers activated. White chocolate is here. Welcome. Although this interact thing for me is a little bit different, so I'm going to pop out the chat from the website and go from there. Everything sound okay today? Hello, Gnostic. Hello, TJ Wolf. It's kind of like some old school font on the chat there. Actually, that's Roboto. I believe that's a Google font. Oh, Google heard me talking on my phone. I didn't say, okay, Google. Peter, why, hey, Google? Peter Patterson's here. Let's see, let me just go over who's here. No, Mitchell, I wasn't munching on Chicago hot dogs. I'm kind of a little slow today. My back is kind of 
really killing me today. I came home from work and popped a couple of Tylenol and a couple of Advil. But as they say in Hollywood, on with the show. So everybody knows what lately, I think since 1804, Alex QT on Lubuntu looks like. Um, definitely looks much prettier than it used to. Uh, they do, you know, uh, you know, right off the bat, they have the icons on there to get to your computer. To get to your home. I haven't changed any of the themes of that yet. The trash can and the network. <laughs> they put their window switchers over to the left. Where most distros have it to the right. And they kind of got the old fashioned menu system there going. Um, I don't know if they're Breeze. They might be the Breeze icons. But you got your typical Lubuntu um, step-down menu. A little hummingbird there. We got our sound here. Uh, hooked up devices. Where your battery's at. Let's see, the latest that you did on the clipboard. I'm on Ethernet. I got OBS running. What do we got here? Work manager and our typical little clock with the calendar. Not a bad, nice little calendar. Comes with Firefox installed. Hey, Vince. Did I change the default wallpaper? It's supposed to be the one that won in the competition. I love it. No, this was the one that was on here. This is the wallpaper. Look at desktop preferences. So the one thing about Lubuntu is their um, settings are not uh, uh, definitely not as bad as uh, Kubuntu. Hello, Dan. Did I change the wallpaper? No. This is is this not supposed to be the wallpaper, Dan? I installed it, and this is what. It install with. Did I upgrade from 1904? No, I I downloaded. I'm pretty sure I downloaded the 1910. I didn't do a, a, a an upload. I went to the download page. I broke it. Thank you, Eric. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. Don't yell at me. Uh, let's see. Um, I did add Chromium. But some of the apps, it comes with Arc as its archiver. Leatherpad, KCalc. Uh, file manager is PC Man FM. So it's got Clipper. The clipboard tool, uh, QT Pass, Vim. Let's see, games, graphics, you know, uh, got Q transmission, the BitTorrent client, which is fine. 
uh, male client, Trojita. How, how would you pronounce that? Thank you, Vince. It wouldn't be a Monday without something breaking. I didn't break anything. So I might have not installed 1910. Give me a break. All right, Ellie, we'll do it. Uh, oops. So you name the F dash R just brings up the kernel. Hello client, how you doing today? All right, so I went off the website. Let's see. Take a look. So again, with um, Lubuntu, in most cases like Kubuntu, tap to click doesn't work out of the box. Let's see. Because I went to the 1910. And the download page. Oh, well. Well, happy Monday. Hello, Adam. What's going on here? Some sort of debauchery? Oh, hell yeah. So... All right, so it's 1904. Oh, happy day. I guess I will have to do this again. So. Yes, Adam, it's a den of inequity. They are trying to lynch me already. Boy, how they turn on you. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm a little out of it today. It's been a rough day. But uh, so I got OBS running. I mean, it's typical. It's running under 600 megabytes in memory. Hey, Dan Kelly, how you doing? Look on the bright side. Sleepy says it's installed easily. Yeah, it installed less than, you know, it was about five minutes, I'm going to say. Like I said, the updates for it. Maybe that's why there were so many updates. Um, take a look at some theming. Why I'm in here. Okay, preferences, LQT settings, and appearance.
We're gonna go with just arc dark. Oh, they have a Lubuntu arc. That's a little bit lighter. Hmm? I like the dark. Although most of the other apps stay pretty bright. Yeah, I don't want a dark is uh, good to um, Gnostic. Although they don't have All that. Hey, Leviticus. He says, get you a copper fit back brace. It helped me tremendously, especially after a fractured vertebrae. That and blue emu cream. I do inventory as well. Yeah, it's... Uh, if you caught the stream yesterday, I talked about this... Um, digital health program that I'm doing uh, and um, it's supposed to help your back and it is a little bit worse that's okay sleepy you you burst my bubble I burst my own bubble what can I say it's been a while since I messed up a Monday stream, so might as well start somewhere, right? So, I guess I should nix the 1910. <laughs> Maybe this will uh, disappear. And I'll do it over again. So, in looking at the stream, though, well, I guess I'll segue over to uh, my OBS playing around. What do you think of the chat box on the screen now instead of what it was before? I think I got to play around with some of the settings, though, uh, for... Um, The moderators, that blue doesn't come out too well. So, uh, there is um, a Linux, you can. I added the Linux browser, they call it. Um, uh, OBS for Windows has the um, browser plugin. And uh, someone made one for, for Linux, and it works pretty decently. Uh, and you can add uh, CSS code to it, so you can uh, add your chat box differently instead of doing a pop-out chat and then a window capture. Um, you copy the... Um, URL from your chat box 
and um, add it as a Linux browser. Or it's called a Linux browser in, in OBS, but it's a, it's basically a browser. And then you can add CSS code to it to change the fonts in that. So can you update 1910 from 1904? Hey Ben, how you doing? Yeah, we could talk about that. I've been playing around with it. Um, let's see, I bookmarked it. So I use this, uh, I'll put the link in the chat. So this is a CSS generator. If you go to this page there and you can change your fonts, your size, your colors. Uh, I think you can do some animation in here and then it creates the CSS code at the bottom, Eric. And uh, I had a, you got to play with it, you know, you got to find, you know, the right font size. All right, so maybe while we're here, I got a little time. I will attempt to do an update while we're watching. Huh? Why not? Why not? Oops. Ben, you're dating Heather Brown. Is that Heather Brown from the uh, EB chats and the uh, the Heather that joins on uh, uh, in the chat uh, toss chats? So what would I do? Bring up the Discover. So Ben, how are you dating Heather? I mean, are you dating dating or are you online dating? Because not to bust your bubble, it's not the same. Yeah, let's go. And Q terminal, Dan. Hey, Sky Bear. Skybar, aren't you married and have a child? Sounds like a scandal at work here. Not me, Ben. All right, we'll play with this right now. 
Hey, it can't be any worse than when I was trying to install, um... <laughs> what the... See, I, I even forgotten uh, the... Uh, the distro that I had such a problem with getting, uh... Calm work. Not Neptune, what was the other one? So, we'll see how this goes. Then I can say, okay, it's 1910. So all is not lost. So yeah, Eric, so with um, that generator code, it just takes a little bit to play with and then finding the font that you want to use. All right, so we're going to go with continue. So, yeah, I know it will, it will need a reboot. Uh, but the cool thing that I won't lose the stream because I'm not streaming off this laptop. I am really loving this. NDI plugin business. It is really cool. And why that's going, you guys can see it in the little corner there. Where is a nun with a stick? Reminds me of Blues Brothers. All right, so Sky Bear. I went to Catholic grammar school. Me and one other kid. No, Eric, I'm using the NDI plugin. I have OBS on both laptop and desktop. On the laptop, I do screen capture and add the filter NDI output. Then on the desktop, you select NDI source and it will pick up the computer as long as you're on the same network. You got to be on the same network. And it works better through Ethernet than it does through uh, Wi Fi or, you know, and uh, with the capture card, I was having problems getting the whole thing no i'm not streaming from the laptop i'm the laptop is streaming to the desktop which is streaming to you guys i did get me an MDI, hdmdi uh, capture box but it wasn't capturing the full screen it was screwing up resolution and uh, and um obs and then once I, you know, I was looking up like plugins and that and ran across the NDI plugin. Uh, the rest is history, so to speak. I have the latest uh, version of OBS. Um, let's see. So on my desktop, I got it's OBS 24.0.3. And let's see. Uh, let me. Bring up
So Eric, here's the link for the NDI plugin. So there's two we're gonna install. The first one is gonna be the uh, lib NDI3. You would install that one first and it's a dev package. And then there's the OBS NDI 4.7.1. You would install that next. Uh, I guess why I am letting this so I can bring up OBS here. So on the so I, I downloaded the OBS from the website. So it's a 2403. So as you can see, I got a uh, screen capture set up. And then if you go and you look at the filters, and if you do, you know, you add filter, dedicated NDI output, you would select that as your filter. And then just uh, hit close. Add that, you know, add that filter so it's up here, All right? Um, I would be able to add the uh, NDI output to a window capture, and I might be able to even do it like from the webcam. Then on the desktop, I guess while we're playing here, let me just add a scene. We'll add scene two. On the desktop, then I would select NDI source, which isn't showing up on the screen. So, um,. Yeah, it looks like, let me refresh this a second. Probably because I was ending a source. Let me remove that. There we go. Yeah, because I was trying to add a NDI output. It was freezing up. But I can show you here. So then on your main system, you would select NDI source and then select the laptop or, you know, other desktop that you want. And then you'll get what I'm getting here. Okay, so. And it's as simple as that. Of oh, that's my wife. That's my honey checking up on me. And I love my KDA, KDE Connect. But for some reason, like, I just got, like, a dozen messages from one text. And I don't know why it does that. No, uh, she's at work, Mitchell. There's no internet at work, and she's got no smartphone. So, Ben, did you answer my question? Is this an online romance? I'm sorry, bud. Doesn't count. Okay. But it's always great to chat with someone and have someone with interest in that.
Okay, I'm making sure I earn my gold wings. I am setting up a harem, though. I, I have um, many of the girls in other stores and that actually call me for help. They won't call their managers because their managers won't do nothing for them. I need to scroll up. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, God, Adam. Need to start an UberX service for escorts called something like Orbells. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I got. I'm, I'm, I'm adding girls. I, uh, my wife, and my wife is perpetuating it too. She called me last night from work, and she's, you know, she says, "Can you help the assistant here?" Hello, Anarita. So my wife is a harem enabler. Hey, Saint Raphael. So, in Steve, you know, in my style, apparently I downloaded 1904. I can't even read a web website. That's how bad it is. But with the help, we're now. In the process of updating to 1910 and we shall see how that goes if if Ben was James Bond and he was dating two women I'd say no problem But Ben, sorry, bud, you're not James Bond. So, what are you ordering from Hello Tux? Uh, Sleepy. That's um, they got. I guess that's you know where the pep clothing comes from, and it's it's awesome. It's awesome stuff. <laughs> na 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 Lennox na 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 This is about as much no this is probably a little more fun than um uh uh <laughs> doing gentu And this is the first time I'm doing something like this so cool 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 Oh, Arco Lennox just announced their Hello Tux gear. Okay, Sleepy. So... Hold on one second. Anna has her pajamas on already because I'm cold and when winter comes, work clothes off and pajamas on. I guess it depends on the pajamas. So, Eric, I want to say thank you and um, Nate for doing that DNL Extend because 
I now, I was able to do a little bit of lawn work on yesterday, which probably didn't help my back much, but we had so much debris down from the winter already. And, uh, you know, put me on a, me and Anna on a time. Me and Anna get kind of crazy in that, but we have fun. Um, um, and I download, you know, it's so easy to download um, your episodes, especially on the phone. You know, I just go to the website and hit download button, and I'm listening to you guys while I'm in the backyard. I've done that with uh, all four of your streams so far. And I, I've never really done podcasts before, so good job. Trying to keep it 30 minutes? Yeah, you know, but. You know, it's, it's, um. I tried doing it like with a YouTube stream, but, you know, the phone, it, it, it messes up in that. But it's, it's, it's so simple, simple, easy to, to find, um. Uh. Oh. Recognize that? It was still in there. So I bring up the file. And I hit the download button. Downloads to my phone. Send a conversation here. Shows in Ask. So now you know I'm not kidding. It was there. All right, for some reason. It lost my connection and probably because of the update. My other nut just got killed on my laptop. Oh, now Eric's going to slam me for copyright? <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you, Eric? Would you? Hey, Mark, how you doing to, uh, today, tomorrow, wherever? You, uh, for you, it's late. For you, it's what? You're, what, six hours ahead, so... It's already, what, 2 o'clock in the morning by you? Ben, you're not married. Who are you kidding? Yeah, two o'clock in the morning. Well, you're you're a late bird. Both of you guys are. So we lost the progress on OBS. Um, my other net knocked out on the laptop. When you were in Scotland, Peter, you were quite often on American time. So this is where it's still running on a laptop.
but I don't know. I'm going to assume it has something to do with the updates. Why is that scary now? It's really scary when your girlfriend's daughter starts hitting on you. Talk about uncomfortable. So how is Alex QT going? Well, Dan's taking me through an update. Because you're brilliant host here downloaded the wrong version it's still going and probably in a couple of minutes my son's going to text me he's ready to be picked up so we'll see how it goes after that uh, but without the ethernet connection I lose the ability to um streamed OBS here like I said this is where it was stuck at or froze at but it's still running so I assume Dan right it, 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 because of the updates going here do, would, do you think that would kill the Ethernet connection And when Adam asked about the battery, he was just being hyperbolic. <laughs> but Mitchell asked a good question. How do you guys like Alex QT compared to the ye old Alex DE? It looks nicer. Much, much nicer. Um... Not, not not that it's, it's troublesome, but the um, settings for Lubuntu um, are actually, you know, quite different than you know, like from XFCE. Um, You know, for for me, I, I find the settings not extremely intuitive. But it's a great lightweight thing. So like I said, when I booted in, you know, it installed, you know, in, in five, five minutes or so. And then, um, you know, it was running like 385 megabytes on memory at uh, cold boot. Linux Confessions, more than you bargained for this stream. Oh, it can get crazy. It's in, it's only Monday, too. It's only Monday. Got a whole week left. Looking for... I, I still I have one more weekend off here before... The six-day weeks really start kicking in. I do prefer XFCE too, Anna. Hey, Nate. You feel like you missed something? You're on my stream. You don't miss anything. I wish this didn't cut out, though, but it's still running. So we'll stay on until I get beckoned by the young master. Yeah, Nate, I was telling uh, Eric how I download um, DNL Next. And uh, here...
don't know if you guys can see that. Um, hold still enough. A little bright there. But there's three DNL next on here. Anna, your wife says that my love for XFC so much that she feels left out of the love equation? No. This isn't physical. That's physical. Well, you can give her a hug. Tell her it's from me. Yeah. endeavor which i recognize this place be. enough people are going to have it and, it and the right people are going to have these right the developers that can build these apps or these compatibility layers will have a piece of hardware yeah physical is better like ben not nah, his online stuff forget about it and i agree with you you mark um i mean it, it's 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 definitely uh nicer than you know what it used to be like even the xfc is nicer than what it used to be um but um you know and they're and the thing is they're throwing stuff from kde into here you know with discover and uh the kde partition manager Copyright strike. Me, Eric, and Nate were like that, you know? Steve, this is the police. We have a copyright uh, infringement lawsuit against you, son. Ah, uh, there's the kid. Um, so I, you know, I, Mitchell, I lost the, um, you know, internet connection and I'm going to say it might be because of the update going, uh, it won't connect again. So showing you the progress, but it's still rolling. And, uh, I probably honestly couldn't tell you where we're at. Um, but here. Let me make you guys a little bit dizzy for a second. There we go. So, see, it's still rolling. So, but unfortunately, I am going to have to pause it here i want to thank you guys for putting up with my shenanigans and um maybe i'll just drop a quick online update on how it went later on tonight but as always, it's fun just getting on with you guys and, and a little bit of banter. Yeah, so uh, Mitchell says, don't worry, 1904 to 1910 upgrade took ages. So, yeah, thanks for putting up with my shenanigans again and the shenanigans in the room. Thank you, Nate. You like my shenanigans. Um, but, um, hey, it wouldn't be a Monday night. I haven't messed up on a Monday night stream for a while, so. But, no, I want to thank you, Dan. I've never, I, I've actually never done an update like this before, so it's something new for me. So that's cool. Um, 
Mark with Peppermint. Um, the upgrades? No, I'm only kidding. But, uh, all right, so, um, let's see. Uh, probably tomorrow. Live from the hamper? But I'll try to refrain from being in the hamper. Um, and I have noticed using my little headset on my laptop has been causing audio problems and that. I might just bring my tablet again and do it from Jitsi. So we'll see. I guess what I'll do is I'll set up a stream so I have a nice cover on there. So um, join me tomorrow night and we'll talk some school stuff. I don't know, whatever. Just um, kind of chit-chat why I have nothing to do Why I wait for my son. I always appreciate you, everybody, joining me. Anna, yes, tell your wife that the love is still there. And um, so you got the bread recipe. Awesome. It's really simple, so give it a try. Mitchell says, when prompted, go for the input. Go with the default. If you don't know what to do, it's super easy. Upgrade. You got it, Mitchell. All right, everybody, I do have to hit, hit the road, so... Uh, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from. And uh, take care. Bye now.